to can uh, compare it and if you wanted to check specific employee names like wanted to check the how much uh, position closed by the employee one what is the status on this year 21 22 so easily can manage it and can check compare if you want to compare with employee two so also can compare it say this the uh, employee 126 employee 228 and sales amount earning this and earning this and uh, the total charge rate is this and less high pay low income high income so means this kind of category you can check it by sales order it's great to learn by clicking one filter you can remove the uh, by clicking clear all one button you can clear the filter for all dashboard and uh, uh, i have to form you that while creating this video you video created a two and three parts so please watch all video full video to understand and you will get a short link in below you need to download this along with the data so let's begin with the dashboard so i'm going to add the tab here so first we need to go to the copy the color so color formatting part you can take your decisions and it's little tough to take a decision and i know might be people like people don't like but you can pick up the color from here and after that the page and give the color here so the color is this okay so now color has been changed let's talk about add the uh, first i want to, to add these slicers all slicers so i can show you only one slicer you continuously you can do it copy and paste and do it so let's select this slicer here and then select any column respective column looking for and then suppose awaiting approval so i wanted to see the status so for this you can change as as per this status you can change it but this one i don't want it i want i have created a separate uh, category for it that attribute and now i want to change the drop down so for this select drop down and then come here and close it and adjust it automatically you can not automatically you can adjust it as per your requirement and see my record with this and after that see this don't have a select all option so for this go to the control single selection control section not required required select all so for this see this select all option is there now now i don't want to see that user can change the uh, slicer status so i don't want to change that so it's this way and you can just control c and control v how many copy do you want yes you can so now i'm going to delete that because i have already created that this is the best thing time so you can utilize means copy paste which is called uh, let me show you shape so for shape you can add this shape here and just hide the color nothing else you have to do it and cut just if you need adjustment yes you can adjust it so now i am going to copy it this slicers one two three four five slicer paste here also it will prompt to do you want it to use as a sync slicer yes you can use it because it's a great tool it's a one place we it it's really help us if you require then do it if you don't require don't do that i require it i want you to do it so that i can filter and check everywhere now see this i synchronize both pages synchronize automatically after that i wanted to add here clear button so for go to the blank button here and add the button here now to give a little bit different color to check it so here come and clear all and then you can adjust the color i don't want to change color because i already created that so first part almost completed let's talk about the uh, let me add the text box here and i wanted to give the name of the dashboard so for this i wanted to create that say this i wanted to just add that and change the background and type 
cells uh, dashboard and all whatever you wanted to write yes you can write and do it i already written that so yes i'm going to copy and paste see this i'm going to copy it and paste here and we can save it and copy and paste it see this done next let's talk about the this slicer so this is advanced slicer which is called check let's slicer and if you wanted to download this slicer go to the um, get more visuals option and there is a store and you have a checklist select the checklist and add it in your license um, tab and after that you can use it so i can just show you so that you can download if you need any other slicer also you can download that it's, uh, it's very easy it's very easy so maybe it will take a few minutes time so meanwhile let's uh, wait for it and maybe it will i don't have to click that but by mistake i click it just wait a few seconds okay now the option is appear here and if you, if you wanted to just type slicer but see this one i have added that you can add it in your dictionary after that so this checklist slicer after that you can give the categories so let's select and show you so i give an attribute and these are category it has already and after that go to the header and all changing part you can format color over also you can do that see that collect color with this so you can change color change the color whatever color you expected to see let me explain a little bit more so this kind of also you can round it or cut side as a square so you can give as but what i want to do so is a right also you can give the image splitting to so this one you can also use it stretches so these are many options there also you can change the border and background color too so you can update that accordingly as per your requirement now checklist is completed so let's copy and paste and after that let's next talk about into so these are uh, let me show you that how to add that just add the card here see this it is a card just click that little bit synchronize uh, adjust it and after that let's go to the here and awaiting awaiting uh, confirmation so for this change as a count and rename it so awaiting confirmation and now Oh, definitely you need to format it for this go to the here data level changes to 45 to 10 this i want to give aerial black so you can have to it and adjust level also you can change it data level now data category so i want to change to X has to be a little bit smaller. So see this adjust that, and now just here automatically. Now you can add more boxes. How many do you want? Yes, you can. So let's copy and paste that. We can save the time. So all categories we have, and copy and paste. And now let's move to the slicers. Uh, after that, I move to the. We have five minutes more, no problem. So let's move to the charts. So for charts, we need to add first cells. So let's move up to cells. Let me show you. For this, let's remove it and use employee name. So employee name is. Where is employee name? Employee table separately. See this. So employee name here. 
employed in them and I wanted to know number of position closed in a month so change with the value to say this and I wanted to format it by count correct then I wanted to buy employee so ascending order by employee name so ascending order say this now 1 2 3 4 5 6 so all employee sequenced after that let change let change the title so you can give the title here if you want to change something yes you can change the title and uh, also you can give the background color if you want it to yes you can any color you can give to them no problem but since i do not want to give any color let's change to the this color by default color then after i'm going to copy and paste similar manner so this is it is a pie chart and all other charts we have so you can do it you can copy and paste make sure that this gap are same so that it should be look like a look is awesome so this way you can prepare this in your dashboard and it's very easy okay let's talk about the data modeling part since we have time so let's work on data modeling part so for this uh, data modeling part i can if not completed i will show in next video so we need to add the month year and gents for this see this come here and i have created the custom column here in edit query there you can um, you go to the add column and custom column after that create calculate the E week of the year then after so let me show you so data type i'm here now so let's show you say this past and say this uh, what i did all date to be come in one column so that i can take it so i given the condition it doesn't equal to null so i created that and after that i created the next that's see this year then i created it uh, i want that year weeks to become in two characters so for this i created that we up here then after created the year and consolidated then after month name last three character so this way this things and created that and then after that i uh after that i use that you can month year calculation you can see my calendar video there i've created that everything and if you like this video please hit and subscribe button and if you have a question comment please put in the chat thank you so much for watching my video bye bye